Welcome everybody. I'm Deidre. I'm Medarius. And we just went through a hurricane. Mm -hmm. We rode it out here in Orlando, Florida. This is how it went. <laughs> Ride like a hurricane. <laughs> one of the very last airplanes that has taken off from Orlando International. Or maybe one that's coming in, I don't know. It sounds weird with all these clouds. We've increased from, I think it was 3.30 a.m. There was just light rain. And now we're just at a steady, steady rain. It's 10 a.m. Orlando International Airport closes in 30 minutes. Sanford and Tampa already closed. Tampa's getting the brunt of it right now. It's about to make landfall in the next couple hours. Yeah, wind's starting to move in. 11.30, Wednesday morning. It's getting a little darker. It's still just raining. I mean, the rain has picked up to, a, I guess, just more steady. And the wind every once in a while is picking up as well. Yeah, it's, it's not super bad wind yet. It, it's just a light breeze. There was a tiny break in the storm, so we took that time to uh, take out the trash. Adarius went to Publix this morning, got us some, um, some more non-perishables, just because the eye is now coming directly over us. been watching the news for hours now we're bored usually on our days off you know we hit the theme park um Adarius has resorted to going outside listening to music uh, but I can't stop watching the news this is my first hurricane so I'm just like trying to keep up to date but I feel like it's gonna give me anxiety I gotta find something else to do I gotta go I gotta go it is 2 p.m wind is steady now and bands of rain are getting heavier this is a 3.30 update I don't know if I'm just bored and ready for a nap or if it actually has gotten darker and that's what's making me tired the wind's just a little bit faster we've got thunder and lightning now and the wind is picking up. Oh man, yeah, look at that over there. Oh, here it comes across the lake. <laughs> this is a little pond. It's coming right for us. This is 4.15. the rumbles of thunder off in the distance. 6 p.m. update. Uh, rain is more sideways. We've had a lot of squalls with just some ferocious wind and almost whiteout conditions with rain. I obviously couldn't come out here during that. <laughs> 7 p.m. update. Very windy. That building over there, the lights just flickered, um, and we heard a zzz, and we're pretty sure a transformer blew over that way, because there was some green and purple lights in the sky. on Wednesday. Um, no 
of debris. The only thing down right now is that one gutter. Everything is coming from that direction right there. Occasionally it'll come from that way, but everything's coming from that way. I don't think I've ever seen this much rain for this long. This is just, that's a little ridiculous. Like. Where did you come from? Oh, oh jeez. I have taken a good amount of time and edited a video. Got some laundry to fold. We're gonna save that for if the power goes out. Because, you know, you, you can do that anytime. We got our candles. We got our candles ready. Basically just trying to keep mentally busy. Bob's Burgers is always a good choice. I did wash out and sanitize two buckets. Filled them with water. And then I put hangers over it to keep the trash bag from like sinking into the buckets. Because the city of Orlando did send out a message that said, you know, water will be contaminated. We filled up our bathtub because they'll probably shut off the water if it gets contaminated so that we can flush our toilet. We've got the air conditioner down as low as it'll go. Um, because after this is all over, if we have no power, it's going to get hot. We could not find any bottled water, so we took every single travel bottle that we had and just filled it with water. Uh, we had this one like way back in the closet from, I believe, last summer when we were like, we should probably get prepared for hurricane season. Um, but yeah, any, any kind of travel mug, any bottle with a lid, filled it up, filled the fridge. And then Adari said he had to get out of the house this morning, so he went, got some angry orchard and scored us some bottled water from Total Wine and More. Cookie dough we had in the fridge, we went ahead and baked it. Um, we got us some snacks. This is from Germany. If you guys are with us on that live, thanks for tuning in. I will link that down below, but hurricane snacks. These are the best cookies ever. And lots of bread for peanut butter sandwiches. We also went through and accumulated all together in one area candles, um, flashlights. I think we have seven or eight flashlights. And then we also went ahead and charged every single thing that we had that could hold a charge. And a crank radio with solar power available as well. This is the gigantic one that will charge our phones eight times. So we're set for probably, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, 15 to 18 charges. We also have this, just in case. It's very nerve-wracking just sitting around and waiting. And then we just also found out that um, I was snooping to see how many park reservations were left. And Disney shut off all the park reservations for Friday as well. So they may be closed Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. <laughs> it's getting a little too windy out there. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was gonna come right out. Come on, hurry up, get inside. Get inside <laughs> before it comes at your face again. You okay? <laughs> it got you right in the face, didn't it? I tried to come in and it got slapped. <laughs> <laughs> Wind has definitely picked up. This is your 11 p.m. update. We just did a Facebook Live. Uh, you can watch that video for some crazy transformers blowing. The sky lights up blue. But yeah, 11 p.m. It's 
getting rough. Worst is yet to come. So we work second shift. We usually get off between, oh, it's hitting me in the face. We usually get off between midnight and two in the morning. So we're, we're night owls anyway, because we get home and make ourselves some dinner. So definitely try to give you another couple of updates. I think the worst is supposed to hit at 2 a.m. Kind of feel like we're back on a cruise. Stuff shaking all around. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but the whole apartment building is shaking. This is midnight. Our pond now looks like an ocean with waves. It's crested over the edge there. We've got the gutters torn off over there. I'm getting pelted in the face. Oh my. <laughs> I'm getting pelted in the face and then you try to open the door. Oh no! What's, uh, what's happening over there? That looks good. Good job. Alright. We're going to try to get some sleep. Don't know how that's going to go. Alright, let's go change into some dry clothes and try to get some sleep. I can't open the door because the wind was on his horn. 10 a.m. update. Some of the worst winds are just now hitting. Um, we have lost internet, but we still have power. There were multiple fire alarms going off throughout the night. Um, debris. Not so much. There's some branches in the parking lot. Um, that's about it. Internet is out. We've just got this screen scrolling by for an hour now. And it's movie time. Movies, yay! We still have DVDs. <laughs> this is a 1 p.m. update. Winds are still pretty heavy and now video is coming out about damage to Walt Disney World and Universal Orlando Resort. Um, there are rumors right now that Disney World is going to be closed again on Friday. So, um, we don't know what kind of damage is at the parks. We've just been seeing hotel damage so far. All right, it's been a lot of time. We are completely stuck and we don't have internet. And they told us not to use our dishwasher, so I'm gonna do the dishes pretty soon by hand. Gross. It's fine. We are in much better spot than a lot of other people. Oh yeah, and we had a couple of critters try to get in to escape the storm, so we had to get out the raid. We were like, we're sorry it's raining, but get out! <laughs> you guys want a blast from the past? This is the Over the Hedge DVD menu. <laughs> You can watch, uh, you can watch stuff from the B movie and Shrek Three. We're completely blocked in, yeah. For the most, like it's it's just here. If you can make it to the right, my car can. We'll be out of it, but I don't know how far down it's flooded again. Oh no, to the right is even worse flooding. That's where the street goes down, or they're doing the construction. Wow, so we do have a little bit of flooding. I just went out to go check the mailbox and. Right across this way, the church, and we're there. You can see the trunk and the bed. Oh my gosh. Wow. So, uh, our whole apartment complex area is uh, good, but outside of here, not good. <laughs> so, just had to come out a little further. As you can see, this whole road. Get through that. You know, she, she's still 
get through it? Oh my gosh. I hope our engine doesn't fall out. to leave that car where it's at at least for now this is your 5 p.m update we're still getting a strong gust of wind every now and then but it is cold it's like 60 degrees right now um half of our apartment complex is without power we're one of eight buildings that actually still has power and it's still sprinkling and our road is completely flooded and we cannot get out we're taking a car ride to see if we can get out for work tomorrow to let our bosses know if we can get out for work <laughs> Good news, our road is cleared as of 9.30 p.m. on Thursday. It's so weird to be so quiet over here. There's nobody on the road. Oh my gosh, this area is so creepy. With nobody here. Look at this, completely empty. Nobody. Nobody walking on the moving walkways. blocked off. No entry unless you are an employee. Ooh, the bamboo there looks... dang. Yeah, that bamboo over there is all flipped over. The brie! We got the brie! <laughs> this is the area over here that was very flooded. Um, if you saw our Facebook page, we posted a picture of the Hulk, how the tunnel was just underwater, so. Uh, looks like they got a couple people out there working on the Hulk, actually. Kabanaba. Kabanaba. looking pretty good. Kabanaba. 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 <laughs> our fire is looking awfully quiet and clean and super clean no trash anywhere the water has washed it all away we're on palm park and it looks like it was um some debris oh my gosh that lake is up so high so <laughs> kitty o'shea's and i guess maybe backstage um maybe paddy wagon i don't know what all's open over here but this is the spot to be everybody is over here i mean this parking lot is just full <laughs> everybody's been stuck inside for two days oh man that place is packed <laughs> i don't think it's that deep maybe oh i mean it was a little deep <laughs> oh man they still got flooding over here Next stage is open. So yeah, Patty, all the bars in this strip are open, but the parking lot is not looking too good. <laughs> huh? Are you really gonna go in there? Yep, they did it. Oh yeah, they can do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can't do that though. <laughs> yeah, we just have to drive slow. <laughs> oh no, that area's blocked too. She's still over there standing, girl. Girl, walk back this way. Oh man. All right, good luck to you, ma'am. Wrenching the plans, had to stop, get some air. Did you know that it is two dollars now to get air? Two dollars! Two dollars! Wow. Big tree, middle of the road. 
still got a lot of cleanup to do here on iDrive. Um, none of the businesses are open, but there's like, we see cars of like managers. So they're evaluating the situation and there are definitely people out and about looking for food, but nothing's open yet. Ah! Ah! I ripped out the window, I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. Oh my God, wait. <laughs> Oh jeez. Oh my god. We're just trying to get home. Oh no, this is bad. This is a good couple feet of water still. Oh man. And it started to rain again. Jeez, oh beats. Um, I think you can fit. Yeah. So we made it out better than others, much better. We are headed into work. Universal and Disney said it's back on today. This is Friday. I need you guys. They need us to go and there's people still at the resort. There's people that have been there stuck and cooped inside for two days, so. They're ready to get out. They're ready. Um, we're actually getting ready to head into work now. It was scary. Um, we, the power flickered, it didn't go out. Um, we have no internet. Cell service is terrible right now. There's still flooding happening. There's trees across the road. It's it's a rough situation in Orlando. We're kind of, we're torn because like we, we wanna go help, but at the same time, the people that are here need us to go and, and make their vacations memorable and magical and make some good memories. And we've got a bunch of locals that have been stuck inside for two days that wanna go and, and have fun and get away from reality for a little bit after all the anxiety of the past week. So, yeah. Yeah, it's between, between, I don't, I don't know. Well, let me, let, me, let, me, let me come back, let me come back. First of all, we're very lucky that we're like the half of the apartment area got power yeah the other half yes. of our apartment complex does not have any power mm. i don't so, know how we uh lucked out on that but we did lucked out on like the flooding the flooding on this side it wasn't it, too bad on this side the other side got it bad um the between that power yes i don't know how we got lucky on that one <laughs> we did though we got really lucky if you have any questions about how it was or what we did to prepare um let us know in the comments down below and um no worries you got chill me who's gonna tell you it's gonna be okay and you got planner and preparation me <laughs> who will tell you what the worst case scenario could have been and how we prepared for it um we don't know who who's the true flirty in here right <laughs> i'm pretty sure i could tell <laughs> he's like do we have alcohol i'm like do we have water <laughs> so we made it out okay um we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it's not our normal thing we are back to disney and universal studios orlando and uh we're happy to get back to the parks we really are but we gotta go to work first so exactly you get more goofy me tending to the park so uh yeah it's not that flooded <laughs> it's not that oh. bad well hold up yeah we're we're safe we're good i'm back thank you to everybody who checked in on us there were so many people we actually went live on facebook um wednesday night when i got really bad everybody was asking about us so we appreciate you guys we love you guys thank you so much for checking with us at home and out exactly. and about during a hurricane and we'll see you in a theme park real soon exactly bye